Hello dear students. In this lecture, we will be discussing transposons and we will discuss some basic introductory part of transposons in prokaryotes. So transposons are also called transposable genetic elements and these are also called jumping genes. These were first studied in maize by Barbara McClintock. Now what are the features of transposons? Transposable elements are normal ubiquitous components of the genome of prokaryotes and eukaryotes. Transposable elements they fall into two general classes based on how they move from location to location in the genome. First class is found in both prokaryotes and eukaryotes and they move as DNA segment and the other classes found in only eukaryotes are related to retroviruses and they move via RNA. In bacteria, transposable elements then move to new positions in the same chromosome or onto plasmids or page chromosomes. In eukaryotes, transposable elements can move to new positions in the same chromosome or to a different chromosome. In both prokaryotes and eukaryotes, transposable elements insert into new chromosome locations with which they have no sequence homology and so it is called non-homologous recombinations. Transposons can cause mutation by inserting into genes and called as insertional mutagenesis. They can increase or decrease gene expression by inserting into gene regulatory sequences. So let us discuss it through photographs. First of all, transposable elements which are present in bacteria, they are IS elements which are called insertion sequences and transposons. These transposons in bacteria can be composite or non-composite. Example of com composite is TN10 and non-composite is TN3. Now transposable elements present in eukaryotes are ACDS system which was discovered in maize by Barbara McClintock, copia elements in drosophila, P elements in drosophila, transposable elements in yeast, transposable elements in humans, LO retrotransposons. Uh, you have uh, in your course ACDS system, DS system in maize. So we will be focusing only this in eukaryotes and we will be discussing IS elements and uh, transposons in bacteria in this lecture. So what is the structure of a typical transposon? Each transposon or, or a typical transposon has a central coding sequence flanked on either side by short interval. Uh, inverted repeats. Now inverted repeats is not present in all transposable elements. This point has to be noted which is then flanked by very short direct repeats of host DNA. Uh, direct repeats are generated while transposition in host DNA when staggered cuts are made in host DNA. So you have to remember that the direct repeats are a part of host DNA and not transposons but these direct repeats are formed when they are inserted in host DNA. The coding sequence for an enzyme transposase which brings out transposition and ends are important for precise extraction and precise insertion. So here, the re here is the representation of a transposon. Now you can see this green portion, this is the coding sequence which codes for transposase. Then the blue region, the, these are inverted repeats because you can see and they are represented by opposite arrows. So why they are called inverted repeats? Because you can see the sequence, they are in inverted. The first sequence is ATCGCA and the second is inverted TACGAT. So these are inverted repeats. These are called terminal inverted repeats and then these are flanked by direct repeats which are generated in host DNA. So you can see and these arrows are in the same direction for host repeat this arrow and this arrow. 
so you can see why they are direct repeats because the sequence is same T G C double A and T G C double. So this is the basic and structure of a typical refer Clark and Cummings. Uh, this picture I have taken from Clark and Cummings. So here you can see that uh, the same representation. This is uh, your inverted repeat and in between inverted repeat there is a coding sequence which is your coding for transposes. So this is how we represent the opposite arrows uh, in a transposon. So this is the typical structure of a transposon and the caption here says an insertion sequence is that uh, the terminal sequences are perfect inverted repeats of one and another. So this is a insertion sequence which is present. This is the representation of an insertion sequence which is present in bacteria. Now say now just we will see what is the action of a transposon. Say this is a transposon and this transposon is present in a um, chromosome. Say this is a donor chromosome and these black portions are their inverted repeats. So the transposase enzyme uh, will be formed by the coding sequence of transposon and it will uh, be inserted in the recipient or the target. So in the target or recipient you can see a staggered cut is formed uh, and then these staggered cuts in between these staggered cuts this transposon with its coding sequence and the inverted repeats gets inserted and then direct repeats are generated in the host gene DNA. So this was the action of transposon. Now what are the three kinds of replication mechanisms of transposon? These are called replicative transposon, non-replicative transposon and conservative non-replicative transposon. So in replicative transposon one copy of transposon is retained in donor and one copy is inserted in target site or the recipient organism. So in replicative transposons, re resolvase enzyme helps in replication so that one copy is retained in donor and the other goes in recipient. Transposase involved is involved in transposition. So in replicative transposons, two enzymes are formed, resolvase and transposase. In non-replicative transposon, no copy of transposon is left in donor and donor either gets destroyed or digested by nuclease or undergoes DNA repair mechanism. It requires only one enzyme transposase because it is also called cut uh, and phase transposon. That is why it has uh, it, there is no requirement of resolvase because no copy is made, only transposase is, in, is involved in inserting the transposon in the target or recipient organism. The third kind which is your conservative or uh, non-replicative transposon. In first two kinds there was, there may be some loss of some nucleotides bonds during transposition but in this mechanism, in the third kind there is no loss of any nucleotide. So here you can see through this diagram, this is the donor DNA which is represented in black and the recipient DNA is represented in blue and the three, these are the three kinds of mechanisms which we have discussed. First is copy paste, you can see a copy of transpos transposon in donor and the recipient. So this is called, um, this is the first mechanism, copy paste or replicative. In the second mechanism which is non-replicative, you can see this is called cut paste where you can see the donor has, uh, the transposon has come from in the recipient from the donor and the donor has not got, uh, uh, retained any copy. That is why it is called cut paste and second is your conservative. So there is no uh, any loss of, there is no loss of any nucleotide in the conservative mechanism. So here. Uh, in the B part in the bottom you can see that uh, this is the structure of a transposon where you can see that there is a transposase and resolvase gene uh, in the center and uh, which is followed uh, this is flanked by your inverted repeats 
and then these uh, these are flanked by direct routines so here you can see that uh, uh, this part where this coding sequence and the inverted repeat this makes the is sequence which is called insertion sequence and this is the other part um, which is direct repeats are generated in the host dna now let's discuss prokaryotic transposable elements so transposable elements were first detected as spontaneous insertions in bacterial operons these transposable elements were responsible for prevention of transcription and translation of bacterial genes are called insertion sequences or insertion elements or is elements so we have just discussed and uh, we have just seen the photograph of is element a number of is elements have been detected in bacteria and a number of elements may be present per cell each transposon has a central coding sequence flanked on either side by short inverted repeats which is then flanked by very short direct repeats of target sites and recipient or host dna central coding sequence uh, codes for an enzyme transposase which acts on the end of insertion element and ie or insertion element may insert at random sites within a gene or at a specific hot spot so is elements are nothing but a typical transposon which is present in bacteria or a prokaryote transposable elements of prokaryotes are classified in three categories class 1 transposable element are those tra transposable elements which have sequence ranging from 500 to 1500 base pairs and they are called as class 1 transposable elements these are represented by uh, insertion elements is elements or ie examples are is1 is2 is4 is5 is903 is550r etc class 2 transposable elements these are longer than class 1 and these are represented by composite transposons each composite transposon has a longer coding sequence which codes for drug resistance etc so in this class 2 uh, transposons are longer than is elements and they are called composite transposons because here in this diagram you can see this is a composite transposon here you can see that this is a is element which we have just discussed what is is element there is a center coding sequence which is codes for transposes and then it is flanked by inverted repeat so here this two in between these two is elements there is a uh, extra region which codes for antibiotic resistance genes that is why this is called composite transposon because it is sandwiched between two is elements then class 3 transposable elements are represented by a mu phage and mu phage is a phage with alternate life cycle of lytic and lysogenic cycle it was discovered by its ability to cause mutation and mutation results from insertion of 37 kilobase phage genome at random in the bacterial gene this is a typical example uh, representation of a transposon uh, which we have just discussed this is how it is shown and this is how it is shown through arrows direct repeats are shown by di showing direction in uh, arrow direction in the same uh, um, direction and inverted repeats which are represented by green color here inverted repeats are, are repeats which are showing direction in opposite direction so this is how uh, they have represented the transposon uh, jumps from donor to recipient by making a staggered cut and then uh, generating direct cuts in the host so i hope this you have understood this topic and this was the introduction of transposon in prokaryotes and you can refer peers clug and cummings for this and we will be discussing eukaryotic transposon and other topics in the next um, part of this lecture thank you students